Today I'll be tying my version of a parachute sulfur dry fly that I call sulfur slayer. Uh, in the vise right now I have um, a uh, foam tail uh, already prepared. Please see the details of the preparation of these tails in uh, another of my videos on my channel called Blue Magic. So currently we'll remove the tail from the the wire jig and we'll uh, trim the little tabs I'll be using a um, size 18 dry fly hook We'll lay down a base of yellow thread. Then we'll come back about halfway to two-thirds up the uh, hook shaft there and we'll tie in our little tail Just wrap it around a few times to flatten out the the tabs, and then we'll come a little bit farther forward. And again, this is a, a parachute version of this fly, so we'll tie in some parachute material. Then we'll wrap it around to make a stem for attaching the hackle. Then we'll wind back to the base of the tail. I'm just going to trim this a little bit so it's a little easier to work with. At this point we'll put in a little bit of dubbing to fill out the uh, abdomen and thorax. And then back to the base of the stem. Then we'll tie in a little bit of white hackle. And then we'll wind this up the stem of the parachute. then back down to the base All right and then we'll wrap this around four or five times so we make our way down towards the base
Then we'll take some horizontal wraps to secure the hackle to the stem. I'll go above and below the remnants of the feather here trying to not tie in too many hackle fibers. Alright, then we'll pull that back and wind up to the eye of the knee of the hook here. Again trying not to tie in too many hackle fibers. We'll trim off the excess. And while we're at it, we might as well trim this a little bit more. Then we'll whip finish. And to make this fly a little bit more durable, we will apply a little bit of UV activated clear finish. I like to just paint a little bit right along where we have tied in the hackle. Fifteen seconds with the UV light. There it is, my version of a parachute dry fly uh, sulfur. Uh, again, uh, works very well when the sulfurs are hatching and just as a, a frame of reference, that's the fisheye view. Thank you.